Hi guys, this is a little tutorial um, how to get rid of the trial version of the games on our PCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. There is a couple of help files out there, but I've had a particular issue with it where it doesn't create um, the RIP file, the RAP file, sorry. Um, it gives you the rebuilder, just creates a temp file and then stops. I'm running it in Windows 10 64-bit. If you run it as administrator, it completely fails. Um, I've, re I've reinstalled Java, so I'll, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is, but I have found a bit of a workaround, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. So the easy way that I've found is open the install folder, go into C00, open the param.sfo, um, and in there, I open this using Editpad Lite. It's not ideal. But I've got it installed so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, just put on Word Wrap. And the block you're looking for, as you're probably aware if you've done any of these before, is that there, the UP block. So we want it from the one. It's actually a bit weird, this it didn't do this before. Um, there we go. And you want it up to the U there. So we we'll copy that. That's the important thing to, that we need. And then we go into Rebuilder. This part I'm sure you've done before. I'll drag that over here. Now we're going to press U to create the file. We're going to create a generate and unlock file. So it's um, U. And then we right, right mouse click and we put that link in. And this is where it goes wrong. It says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. Like I said, I have installed it. Um, maybe the OS has installed 64-bit version, I might need the 32-bit version. Um, I'm not too worried at the moment because I'm not going to be doing these all the time. So what happens now, we can close that because what it's done is created it here in the unlock, um, in the temp folder. So the, the thing that you pasted, copied, you paste that there now and we we can just leave that as is for the minute and we'll bring this over here so you can see it. So these are the wrap files that I've created before. So we'll paste that down and we'll call it dot wrap at the end and OK it. Obviously we want to change the name. Now these go in your HDD00, home, 0001, xdata and you copy that. Oops, sorry. We well, can move that over there because we don't need it again now. So you move that there, and that's how you get round the problem if this program doesn't actually work. And then when you're running the game, it doesn't keep coming up with the square telling you to um, buy it, which obviously is a pain. But we'll just let this load up. I'm sorry if it's a bit slow, my PC is just downloading. Um, I can't remember what it's downloading actually, but it's downloading something bloody big. 40 odd gig PlayStation 3 game that I want to try. Uh, oh, yeah, look, not Look Big Planet. Um, oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I, I installed a version that said it had to download, you had to go on the PSN network to download it, which obviously we can't do, so I found the ISO. Right, okay, so I'm using Vulkan libraries. Um, obviously, they make the graphics better if you've got the power. I'll probably try and fast forward this bit for you if it takes much longer. There we go, it looks like it's running. Yeah, there we go. So, We shouldn't, we're not seeing the little box that says click square to to buy, buy full game. It's really weird, it's a tiny game, this one. I picked one at small again. Yeah, there we go, full version, 
sorted. Uh, I hope that helps some of you anyway. It's, uh, it's a silly little issue and I will look into it and see if I can post an update on how to fix it.